Hello and welcome to Observer's Lesson. In this video we are going to take a look at Events Configuration, Base and Custom Events and Observers. In previous video we added functionality for login to console command add item class of our module. In this video we are going to apply more proper approach for login and we are going to use Observer. For this purpose, I would like to change logger dependency to event manager dependency, that is entry point to the events and observers. First I will change property and rename it to event manager. Then I will change variable name and property call in constructor. Also, I have to change type. I would like to use manager interface from Magento Framework event namespace. And now, instead of login, instead of call to logger in execute method, I'd like to call event manager dispatch event name I will use mastering command name and I also can pass some data to my observers let it be object and as an object I will pass item that was saved now let's create an observer that will handle this event. For this purpose I'll create observer directory inside the module where all observers should be stored and logger PHP file because an observer will be responsible for login. Now I will pass I will paste content. So the observer is dependent just on PSR log logger interface and it's using this logger for uh, login item name to the backlog. As you can see it assess event from observer then it retrieves object which is magic method for key that we used for data during dispatch and then it retrieves name from an item. Each observer should implement observer interface from Magento Framework event namespace and this observer interface declares just one method called execute that should be implemented by observer. Now we have to create events configuration and for this purpose we go to etc and create events.xml file there. In this file we are mapping event to observer. So I am mapping mastering command event dispatched in add item command to the observer created earlier and I'm using some unique name for this observer. Now the last thing I would like to do is to change DI configuration. As you remember in previous video we used custom logger for console command add item class. As now we removed logger argument from constructor this configuration is no longer works and instead we would like to pass our custom logger to observer that is now responsible for login. So I will change the type to mastering sample module observer logger. Now let's test our implementation. First let's clean cache.
Now let's call add item command mastering item add and I'd like to pass some custom name. Item is created and let's check logs. We go to var log and you see the bug custom with custom name created. However, there is even easier way for logging such events. The thing is that Magento framework has lots of predefined and out of the box events that can be used. Those are static and dynamic events. And in our case, we would like to use one of dynamic events from Magento framework. Basically, we are going to log each time an item in our module is saved. And for this purpose, we would like to go to model item.php to our module and add an event prefix here, which I would like to use mastering sample item. This event prefix is used by abstract model to generate events. Now we'll go to events.xml configuration and we'll change event name. We'll use our prefix mastering sample item. This is prefix of our module and then we'll specify a dynamic event name or event suffix and I'd like to use save after. This is the event that is dispatched after the model with this event prefix is saved. Also, the model is passed to data together with event as object. So under object key. That's why we don't need to change the implementation of observer logger. Now we can remove dispatching functionality from the command. I'm removing the call and event manager in constructor. Also I'll remove property. Now let's test the functionality using event dispatching from framework implementations. I'd like to clean cache and add item with custom name too. Item was added and let's check our log. As you can see custom name 2 was added to debug log. Finally, what I'd like to advise you is to search the project for default Magento events. For example, you can do this by going to vendor Magento if your project was installed using Composer. And calling find and pass something like dispatch or even better event manager dispatch. As you can see there are quite a lot of events you can subscribe to. Some of them are static like controller action predispatch. Some of them are dynamic like controller action predispatch and then the road name. In the next video we'll talk about plugins or interceptors.